All right, I had a lamp. Um, had this little blue base on it that I had to um, kind of trim off. So while my soldering iron's heating up, I'm going to finish trimming this. And I just put in my vise very gently enough to hold it, and then I just kind of peel that off with a razor blade. Um, and then what I think I have to do, sorry, I'm just trying to get this one last little piece off here. Yeah, I almost got it. So I actually had to put that cover in there, and then I'll slide the lamp in like so. I think it's the only way to do it. But I need to remove that last little bit of blue. That last little bit of blue right there. And it does not want to come off. And I don't want to chop my hand off doing it. So there's really no good way to do this. So I'm going to do this off camera while my soldering iron is warming up and then I will pick it back up uh, when I'm installing the lamp. Okay, so I soldered the, the wires onto the lamp and I'm just sliding that in there like so. And I have to hit that with a heat gun just to make sure those don't move. But let's see if we now have a light for, for tuner. Let's see. Tuner light. Sweet. It's almost like I planned it. All right. So let me hit that with a little bit of heat. Make sure those don't touch each other. And then I'll get into uh, cleaning the controls. Let me zoom this out. And, and controls, I'll probably have to take the bottom off. It looks like I think I can get to the volume pot. Although the, all the other controls were good. So let me see. Maybe I can get to this side. Oh man, maybe they're going to be a pain in the butt. Oh yeah, they're going to be a pain in the butt. So they sit on top of a board. There's no accessing them from the bottom. So, but I can get to them from the back. So I'll hit all of them and hope for the best. All right, I'll pick it back up when I'm cleaning the pots. Well, I realize I didn't film any of that. It's just been one of those days today. So anyway, it was basically just cleaning the pots. Um, I was able to get to all of these from the backside. A little bit of it was spray and pray, just trying to, you know, trying to get into them the best as best as I could. And I was able to get. There were two other pots that were dirty. The spatial expander, which is pretty easy to get to, and treble, which was also right next to it, pretty easy to get to. I did hit these. I'm, I'm pretty sure I got them pretty good because they were a little stiff, and now they they move real easy. Volume's been done. Lights have been changed, so this is gonna this is gonna head to the shop. I did find a replacement battery. I need to talk to the shop owner. I'm gonna take it down there, so there may be a follow-on segment to this if I do replace the battery. Uh, looks like I I can get a battery for the 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 memory for about ten bucks. The one in here, there's some corrosion on one end of it, but it does seem to it does seem to work. So if I hit, well, no, it doesn't seem to work. So, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, well, yeah, there it goes. It's on 92.3. This one was, this one should be 99.9. .9, but I don't have an antenna hooked up to it, so I'm not sure if this is normal or not. And there's some stations that I program. It just won't pull in this 99.9, I guess. I don't know. So anyway, I need to talk to the shop owner, see what he wants to do, how far he wants to get into this. Uh, replacing the battery doesn't look too bad. So um, anyway, if I end up replacing the battery, I'll tack it on to the end of this. 
this might be one. See, there it goes to 99.9. It like does this search thing and then comes back to the station. So I'm gonna have to get into the service manual and see if that's by design or not. But anyway, I'm taking this down there for now and we'll see what he wants to do moving forward. So as always, if you like what you see, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.